The highest achievement in scouting for the Boy Scouts of America is the Eagle Scout. One of the requirements is an extensive service project that's planned, organized, and executed by the Scout with the guidance from his parents and Scoutmaster. Nick Morganelli introduces us now to one Scout who, as part of his Eagle Scout project, brought an outdoor prayer experience to the parish family at St. Mary's in Orange. The journey to Eagle Scout, an achievement that is not easily earned. Eleven years ago, this Cub Scout, Jeff LaPlante, started learning, growing, and maturing with the help of his parents, Scoutmaster, and his good friend and Eagle Scout, David Vitello. I remember meeting Jeffrey in kindergarten, and we started Scouts together. And When we started in first grade, we both said that we wanted to become Eagle, and that's something that we both stuck to. So I'm super proud of Jeff for sticking to it and completing this. He's my oldest, and he's the best oldest first child we could have had. Um, he's patient, he's funny, he's easygoing, he's extremely independent. Jeff's mom and dad know as he finalizes his obligations to achieve Eagle Scout with this service project of building Stations of the Cross here at his parish of St. Mary in Orange, he is setting an example for his two younger brothers who are also Scouts. We always hoped it for him because we knew what a benefit that Eagle Scout would provide him in life. They have a lot of fun accomplishing all the requirements to become the next level in scouting. Jeff's project was actually a decade in the making. It's funny, it was actually, so Jeff's mom, years ago when I first got here, um, we were talking about Stations of the Cross for the kids and she said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we were able to have outdoor stations? I kind of thought of it as, as something that would be a good idea for an Eagle Scout project and I talked to Father Sean about that and he thought it was a good idea and so we got the ball rolling. Father Sean O'Connor, pastor at St. Mary's, is one who can testify to Jeff's character. Jeff, Jeff has been very much involved and, and very dedicated and an active member of the parish community. The whole family is very, very active, um, involved in helping with the Sunday school program. I've done a lot of stuff here altar serving and singing in the choir and even helping out over in the parish center with some of the dinners put on by the different groups and it feels good it feels good to help out the community and to be active in the parish it's always nice in a parish to be able to see the young folks grow up and mature and and really get involved in their faith and express it in practical ways and Jeff's Scoutmaster, Mark Cole, has been with him since Cub Scouts and has also seen Jeff grow into the young man he is today. He's a great kid. I, I mean, you know, uh, we wish they were all like him. I mean, he's he's been very willing to take on leadership roles and has done a great job in it. One out of a thousand becomes an Eagle Scout all on their own. The rest of them, uh, including my own child, uh, you get pushed and pulled and dragged and uh, reminded and uh, and so forth. Those that make it, uh, it's quite the accomplishment. And this accomplishment culminates with a service project proposed by the Scout. A project that involves leadership, planning, all of the different aspects that go into it. It involves fundraising and just a myriad of things. Uh, and that's, that's a real learning experience. All the planning, contacting people, that's not something that I'm great at. You know, if it were up to me, I'd just come out here and do it myself. But the, the organizing part is, uh, it's been a learning experience and I'm really glad to have gone through that. Well, the weather cooperated for one of the final steps in this project, which is to set the stones for the pathway for the Stations of the Cross. And this is a wonderful way that will help the parish community and make our this beautiful area that we have here with our Mary Shrine and the Mary Garden. And now I think that it really feels complete with the Stations of the Cross. Jeff shared how much he has learned through this process. Good planning is everything. It really is. And uh, the other thing that I've learned is that I don't have to do it all myself. There's a lot of people 
uh, good people who are willing to volunteer, who want to donate their time, their tools, their materials. And I just really have to say that the whole community has been really, really supportive of, of everything that's going on here. And it's been fantastic. He's made all the sacraments here. They've watched him grow up. They're a church family. And when he started this project, I think he was overwhelmed by how many people would ask how he's doing, tell him how excited they are. The final stage of the stations are memorial plaques that will be sponsored by parish families. They're going to be um, probably about this big. They're somewhat small, but they're going to say um, in memory of uh, whoever the uh, sponsors wanted uh, memorialized by their, their donation. Jeff is blessing others as he is grateful for the blessings he has received in the process. Excited to see this in use for the next Lenten season for Real to Real, I'm Nick Morganelli. And Father Sean O'Connor will have a blessing of these new Stations of the Cross prior to the next Lenten season.